Hello, everybody. This is Mark Michelot from Building Aspirations, and welcome to a live webinar entitled Content Marketing, Content Marketing that Converts Customers. I am excited that you are here. Thanks for participating today. We are going to give you some really powerful good stuff. This is me. My name is Mark, and it's pronounced Michelot. You can learn a lot. You can laugh a lot with Michelot. And you are participating in a live webinar, and we are recording it. And I want you to participate in it. I'm leading the discussion, but that doesn't mean that you need to remain silent. I want you to participate. And the way you can participate is by posting your questions in the little tool and there's typically a message box to the left of your screen or sometimes it's below the screen depending on whether or not you're doing this on a laptop or, or a tablet or what and as you have your questions you know put them out there we are hosted and sponsored today by constant contact a provider of email marketing and social media marketing services for small business I have been working with them for, golly, I don't know if I've been working with them for 10 years, close to 10 years. I respect the quality of their products highly, and I encourage you to look into their product suite if you're not familiar with them. My expertise is digital marketing. I help entrepreneurs, I help small businesses and corporations expand their influence online. When you have a good marketing strategy, your business can excel. And when you add in an online component, when you add in good digital marketing strategy, now that's like adding rocket fuel. You can really achieve phenomenal productivity and efficiency. And the name of my consulting practice is Building Aspirations because that's a big part of what we do. We give you the marketing strategy but you know what? We motivate you, we inspire you, we mentor you, we coach you to achieve it. I like to say we get you off the couch. Everybody has a great idea when they're sitting on the couch. <laughs> but when you have to put it into action, oh, it's a different story because there's reality. We, we help you deal with that reality. We help you implement those marketing and sales systems to make your business uh, accelerate. There's my contact information and you will get a follow-up thank you message from me, mark at buildingaspirations.com, from the email you use to register for this event. So let's talk about what we're going to talk about. Now, I walk the talk. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. And when I'm working with my clients, when I'm helping my small business clients identify the problems in their business, that's really the key word, the problem. Because I strongly believe that business owners do not sell what they think they sell. I think every business owner sells one thing. They sell an answer to a problem. That's it. If you cannot effectively, efficiently, with higher quality or something, solve a problem for your target market, you need to rethink your business strategy. So everything in your business needs to be focused on them. And the them is your target market. How can you help your target market? What can you do to help take their problems away? And how can you document, how can you show that, how can you prove that online with good digital marketing strategy? So. I mean what I say and I say what I mean, so I'm starting with your problems. I think these are examples of your problems. You don't know what to say. Oh my gosh, everything is everywhere simultaneously and people talking are, are, are about s stupid stuff on social media and how do I be involved in the conversation without being risky or insulting somebody or what are the legal twists and turns. So you don't know what to say. I get it. That, that's a problem. And you don't have enough time. Because somehow, some way, as a small business owner, you have to do everything simultaneously. The phone is ringing, the stakeholders, the, you know, it, everything has to happen at the same time. 
And in the United States, we live in the most short-term oriented society on the planet. That, that's not even opinion. That, that's been documented and substantiated by sociologists and behavioral therapists. We are in an instant gratification society. And what that means from a business standpoint is that your clients and customers are constantly and consistently demanding stuff now to the point where you're not even allowed to finish your sentence, right? Somebody's ready to, ready to say something before you even finish talking. So it creates this perception that there's not enough time. And then you know what? Sometimes you think, oh, gosh, I don't have design skills. You see these things on Facebook or on Twitter or on a blog, these beautiful graphics, these things, and it's, golly, you know, I don't know how to use all this graphic software, and even if I did, I don't have time to write all this stuff or, or, or make this look beautiful. Well, I'm going to help you with that. And then there are more problems. You don't know fill in the blank. <laughs> you have more problems. Well, everything that we're talking about today, everything that, that we're sharing today is focused on helping you resolve your problems. So my goal is to take your anxiety away. I'm going to take your stress and anxiety away, and I'm going to replace it with good content marketing strategy. And why? Because I want you to get more. I want you to get more customers. I want you to get more clients. I want you to get more sales. I want you to get more exposure. Now, this is really your first content marketing lesson. Okay, the problem and then the solution to the problem. You see, I presented your problem and now this is the solution, how I'm going to take the problem away. I'm going to take away your stress, and I'm going to replace it with this, more, problem, solution. And when you can design this, follow this methodology in good, well visually thought out content marketing, your business can convert much more customers. Because the key thing there is the revenue. I want you to earn more money, of course. You're in business, yeah, of course. But, and this is a really big but, that revenue can't come first. It's not on top of the list. It's subordinated. We think as business leaders it's the most important thing, but it's not. Because we fall in that trap of being impatient, instant gratification, we're right now in society. But that's not how relationship building works in a business. You have to build a little bit of rapport. The clients have to know about you. You have to have exposure, familiarity. Then comes the money. And I, I like, I encourage my customers and clients to think about this as a dating scenario. You don't ask her to marry you on the first date. That's analogous to quote unquote the revenue in a business situation. It takes a little bit of time, and it's frustrating because we want the results now, but that doesn't happen. Now, I'm, I can't make that now happen instantaneously, but I can shorten that cycle a little bit, and that's what we're going to talk about in content marketing. You need results. I'm extremely results-oriented, and here are some of the companies that I've worked for. I've supported programs and, and campaigns for Hilton, The Gap, Travelocity, Coach, Banana Republic, Harry and David, World Wildlife Fund, MasterCard, Union Bank, Hotwire, Victoria's Secret. Those are just some of the ones <laughs> I, I can remember. I've been around for a while, so I've implemented these best case strategies for big corporations. Now I'm doing it for smaller companies. I'm going to help you get to results in your content market. Now, how do you get to the actual results? Okay, the results are actually the revenue. Okay, we want to get to, to money. And even if you're a not-for-profit, quote unquote, your charitable contributions are revenue. Okay, so, so and, and maybe you have some very unique business model where revenue is really not the end goal, but for the overwhelming majority of you, yes, it's, it's revenue. And what you need to appreciate is that there's an action before the revenue. There, there's something that is required that must happen before 
the revenue. Here are some examples. Maybe there's clicks or downloads. Okay, that's web traffic. Okay, people are going to your e-commerce store. People are going to your downloads. Okay, so there's traffic. Now, could someone buy something immediately without going to the download or something? Yeah, but okay, if you have an e-commerce business, this is the process. It, it, you can't really sell something on your website without someone going to the website, right? You, the traffic. So the traffic is a requirement, uh, a prerequisite for the revenue. And then maybe you have visits to a store. Now, that's, that's foot traffic. Just as like you would have traffic to a website, maybe you have traffic to your physical store. But remember, the key thing here is we want results. We want conversions. I mean, traffic is great. Oh, I had 1,000 visitors to the website yesterday. Okay, how many people bought something? That's what I'm going to ask my clients every time. I, I want you to have the traffic, yeah, because that's a prerequisite, but there's got to be the results there. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about success. We're talking, I'm an extremely practical results-oriented individual. I want to get you to revenue. For some of you, it's reservations or and appointments. So you're, you're pushing people to a registration system, you're pushing people to an online calendar to schedule an appointment, and then that initiates, that's the first trigger in your sales process. Some of you may have products and services that are a little bit more complex. And if I'm buying a shirt, okay, I can go click and buy the shirt, right? What do I need to know? I need to know the color, the size, the fabric, some basic things about the shirt. But it's, it's not something where we need to have an involved discussion, okay? If I'm buying a car or a house or a complex investment vehicle from you, there probably needs to be an appointment. So depending upon the complexity and, and, and what's involved in the decision-making process for that conversion, maybe you have an appointment. Or maybe there's a call. Maybe you have some customer service model or something like that. So you need to determine what it is before the revenue. That is, is a key point for the, okay, results oriented part of this. Now, if you don't know where to start, this is where you start. And even if you do know where to start, <laughs> this is where you start. You start with your email list. Because email has proven to be the most cost effective way to market your business. The only thing that is better than this is word of mouth marketing or referral marketing. Referral or word of mouth marketing is free. Okay, so it, you can't beat free, especially when there's a high trust factor. Right after that is email marketing. And you must constantly and consistently build your email marketing database. What this means is that when, you, when you're in a professional relationship, you need to have a methodology. And the first step in your, in your, your lead generation the first step in filling the funnel, the first step in, in your sales scripting is getting the contact information. You can't even have the conversation if you can't have the conversation. If you don't know how to contact them later, you can't do it. And I would love for you to have a personal contact, a personal relationship with everybody in your business. But you know what? Let's be realistic. I mean, can you have how many personal conversations can you have in a day? I mean, can you have a thousand? No. Can you email your list of a thousand people in a day? Yes. You see, so it allows and enables you to get as personalized as you can without the need for creating a thousand hours in a day. It is an extremely cost effective way to market your business, and it's proven to work. And actually, results were actually verified by Fortune magazine a couple of years ago. And they did some studies that determined that the average investment in an email marketing system of $1 returned $40 on the back end. So the ROI is just astronomical. It's relatively easy to use with good process. It's not like something like, let's say, graphic design where you need to go to school for a year and figure out how to use all these tools. It integrates very well with social media. There are tools where you can almost literally go click, click, click. It's very relevant. I mean, is social media on fire? Yes. Is Facebook dominating how we communicate? Yes, yes, yes. Has email marketing been an integral way in, in the manner in which we communicate for business for decades? Yes. 
And what is the most popular app on every phone in the United States right now? It's the email app. It's so basic. It's so fundamental. We don't even consider it anymore. It's just basic. Okay, if you fill out a form, what does the form ask you? Like, just think of any form. Okay, it's name, address, phone number, email address. That's pretty. It's always like. And could you imagine? Oh, what's your email address? Oh, I don't have one. What? <laughs> it's like not having fingerprints, right? It's just in, enormously basic. Now, um, it's also a really great brand builder because look at those goldfish over there, okay? I don't want you to be a goldfish. I want you to be a quote-unquote green goldfish because the green goldfish stands out. That's the whole point of your marketing. You must stand out in your marketing. So if you send out a relevant, well-respected email campaign and people keep reading it time after time after time, you are the green goldfish. You are the person who stands out. And a lot of you, a key to your marketing is what is called top of mind. You have to remain top of mind. Hey, don't forget about me. Some of you, you can convince me. But for a lot of you, okay, if you're an accountant, you, you really can't convince me. Okay, when I need an accountant, I'll kind of call you, you see? When I need a mechanic, I'll go to you. But you know what? When I'm ready for that decision, when I'm ready for that conversion, I cannot forget about you. So you need to be the green goldfish. That's part of the brand building. Top of mind, hey, don't forget about me. Now, it all starts with good email marketing. And if you're not using email marketing, I would encourage you to get started right away. And I'm going to post a link in the chat box of where you can get started with Constant Contact if you're not using it right now. The screen is also, I beg your pardon, the link is also on the screen. And there are options the start is twenty dollars a month and you can and you can have robust functionality for fifty dollars a month and i want you to think about that okay that's six hundred dollars a year okay i don't know if you've ever taken an ad out in the paper <laughs> it might be triple that for like one day okay so you have constant and consistent ability to have customized high value touch with your customers on a channel that has proven to be enormously cost effective for a relatively small investment. Now let me just show you what good email marketing looks like. It doesn't need to be overwhelming. It could be something like this. Okay, there's a picture, a paragraph, and a call to action. Okay, this is not a blog, this is not a website, this is an email marketing message. And I, I have a question here. Is constant contact easy to, to, to set up? Uh, yeah, okay. It, 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 is constant contact easy to set up and use? And the comment is, I'm not a very technical person. Yes. Uh, constant contact is designed to have a relative, not relatively, a very friendly user interface. So if you know how to use a computer, if you know how to use your mouse, mouse and, and drag and drop, you got it. So how do you insert a picture? You click the button that says insert picture, right? So in the very beginning, your challenge is going to be where's the button, okay? So using the software is, is quick and easy. And setup is also quick and easy. There's a great 800 number is in the top right-hand corner of every screen. The people are, are really, really good. And, and typically, you'll get someone in Colorado and in Boston, you know, so they have a very strong knowledge of business in the United States, great communication skills. And then, of course, if you need advanced training, which some people do, actually someone, I'm booking an appointment this morning to help a small corporation with their training, you, you can hire me to, to train your staff. Uh, no worries. We can, and, and, and I can even do that remotely. I actually have chi uh, a client in um, China right now. So quick and easy to use, yes. So. I would love for you to think through this, that just add a little bit of a picture, a little bit of a paragraph, and a call to action. Now, this is not a lot of information, and that's actually really, really good for your marketing. It's a really critically important marketing strategy. Less is more in your marketing. And so often my clients argue this point with me. They want to squeeze in more information. They want to squeeze in more information. 
But think about the environment in which we live. We live in an instant gratification society. Seriously, we have Spotify music where we must have instantaneous access to thousands of our songs, literally in a second. Okay? We are frustrated if web pages take four seconds to load. We have developed a billion dollar industry around fast food. And even though it, it can cause us physical harm, we love it. And we don't even want to get out of the car. We want to drive around through a drive through window and get our dinner instantaneously. That is the environment in which we live in the United States. That means that when you're communicating, you can't give me lots of information. That's not how we live. That's not how we commu communicate. you got to be kind of right now oriented. So the way you are right now oriented is just provide less information. Now, because you're providing less information, it needs to be super high quality. Here's how you do the high quality. Tips. People love tips. Okay, five ways to do this. Three things you don't know about this. Because, oh, okay, three things. So if people just have five minutes to read an article, okay, they'll read it. And that's your email newsletter. That's your campaign. Okay, they know that you're going to provide high value in these tips really quickly. Less is more. Pictures. Pictures are a powerful way you can do less is more. And there's a slight way to quote unquote cheat <laughs> with the pictures is that you can embed videos. Right? What are videos? They're talking pictures. So and those they're they're extremely popular right now. So you might host the video on YouTube and then include the video link in your email marketing newsletter. Now, some people um, misunderstand or miscommunicate, so let me be a little bit technical here. You're actually putting the link to the video. You're not attaching or including the video in the newsletter. It's just a link to the video. And the video can reside on your website or, or it could just be straight in, in YouTube. And once again, that's not. there's no technical barrier to, to actually doing that. And remember, it, it, um, if you haven't used Constant Contact, I just sent you the link where you can buy more. Now, you can also do teasers, okay, when you hint to information. Okay, when you go to a movie, just before the movie, they show you trailers of the next movie. Okay, and what are, they show you 30 seconds. They show you one minute. They get you excited about the next thing, but they don't give you everything. They just give you enough to get excited. That's the teaser. Now that helps the reader because they're short-term oriented. They're not paying attention, right? They're just going to skim it. And it actually makes your life a lot easier because there's less to write. It, it, and, and then finally, be concise, okay? And that's kind of the overall tip that connects to the less is more. What you need to do is always focus on less, okay? So if, if you think you need to write three pages, no, nope, cut it in half and then cut it in half again. Because I'm going to spend maybe one minute. I literally know that the threshold, the last figure I saw was 52 seconds. I'm going to spend 52 seconds reading your email campaign. You will have my attention for less than a minute. So, you know, if, if you give me war and peace, you're just kind of wasting your time and, and putting unreasonable expectations on your staff. It's just too much. Less is more. Okay, here's how very specific ways you can address the idea of less is more. Blog posts. If you're not blogging, you need to start blogging. Here's what a blog is. A blog is a specific area of your website that is updated. Because Google is the dom dominant search engine in the United States, and you need to be very knowledgeable about how to use and leverage Google because it, that's critical for how people are going to connect with you in your business. Google likes, no, I take that back. Google loves fresh content. And if your website has been put up five years ago and you haven't updated it, it's, you know, it's dust to Google. It's like, ah, eh, this is a fossil. You know, nobody cares about this stuff. It's five years old. Now, not everything in your website can be updated all the time, right? Your history, the management staff, it's like even your product list, maybe it's relatively standard. But you can have a blog area. So that's one area of your website where you make updates. 
What product innovations are there? What industry innovations? Maybe you hired a new staff member. You have a promotion for a holiday. See, whatever makes sense to your target market, and then you, you update this information. Now, Google wants you to have 2,000 words in a blog post. That's the optimal length for Google. I tell my clients 700 to 800 words. Because remember, I'm an exceptionally practical individual, and I want you to get to results with as little effort as you can, you can have. So that means that, okay, if you can write one-third as much and still have reasonable results, I want you to do that. Now, you must have great titles, okay? Because remember, not paying attention, short-term oriented, instant gratification. So titles are three, five, seven words of how you can get my interest instantaneously. So look at the title I'm showing you, how to get everybody talking about you. Oh, I'd like to know how to get everybody talking about me. So someone might read that blog post. Now, when you're writing, you want to be SEO optimized, search engine optimized. So that means Google needs to know about your blog post and the keywords and phrases that are used in the title and throughout the blog post need to be seeded throughout. Now that is, that is something a little bit more technical, okay? That is where you need to work with an SEO expert such as myself or another marketing expert. Maybe your webmaster may have access to tools and skills, but this is, a, this is kind of like organizing your phone book. Okay, if you have the phone book in your phone and it's not in alphabetical order, uh, the phone numbers are there, but you really can't find it. Same thing if you don't have proper SEO. You'll have a valuable blog post, but Google can't really find it. And then finally, what you know about. You are an expert in your business, but the customers and clients are not. And sometimes they need really basic information that is basic to you, but it can be life-changing to them. You might be a real estate expert with 30 years of experience in mortgages, but you know what, if I'm a 20 something, I may say, well, what is a mortgage, right? And you need to explain, okay, here are the different types of mortgages and the advantages and disadvantages. To you, it's silly because you're an expert, but to your customer, extraordinarily valuable information. So focus on what you know, but what is of high value to your target market. Now, on the top of your blog, you're going to have this. This is called a social media share bar because good marketing, good content marketing is like a good joke. It gets shared. So literally on this that I'm showing you, see where it says F on Facebook? That's Facebook. It has the 30. That means 30 people have literally clicked this button to share this blog post on their Facebook page. Those are free eyeballs. And, and if, if the average person has, let's say 300 friends, that's 30 times 300. 9,000 additional impressions, and I paid zero for that. Then look at LinkedIn. Oh my gosh, 81, huge number. And my connections on LinkedIn for my business provide me much more value. So, so this is an exceptionally high value blog post because of the strategy I put behind it. Now at the bottom of your blog post, you're gonna have this. You're gonna have an invitation for your opt-in because you don't know how someone came into your blog post. Maybe they came, they, they found the blog post on a search. Maybe they know about you and you want them to come back, quote unquote. So how do you get them to come back you encourage them to subscribe your, to your newsletter so you can invite them back. You can't invite them back if you don't know who they are. So in this example, I give people the email marketing video success series. So I give them 10 videos on email marketing strategy as a reward, as a bonus to give their email address to, to opt into the list. Okay, so this is called your opt-in or lead gen bonus. And sometimes, I, if you don't have this, I would love to be able to create this for you. And then this could be a white paper, an electronic download, a coupon. As long as it's of high value to the subscriber, it's okay.
So that's email marketing. So, so we're giving, and you know what, I just have limited time, so I'm just kind of giving you the highlights here. Now, I also want you to realize that, okay, some of these visuals and, and may look great, but ah, remember, you have limited time. So how can you create these stunning visuals with limited time? Well, I am literally going to show you, uh, we're going to do a live demo right here, right now. And this is a tool called Promo Republic. And I am in the tool right now, and I'm going to go to the editor. And you see all of these graphics here on the side are all available to you. So I can just click on this right here, and it loads this up. See, do you see what I did? All I did was click on that picture. And then you have free rights to this stuff. And then you can you can edit this stuff, you can delete it, you can change the colors if you want. All of this stuff is right here. So literally at your fingertips. And some of you are going to say, oh, but I don't know what size. Okay? Well, look, if you're doing a Facebook post, it's one size. If you're doing a Facebook ad, it's a different size. If you're doing Instagram, it's a different size. So all you do is pick this, like Instagram right here, boom, and it changes up the size. You see, right, a click of the button. I didn't need to program anything. I don't need to research this, figure it out. It's all right here. And then there's even, so all of these right here are available to you. And then there's even backgrounds. So let's say you want to you want to pick different backgrounds. They're here. You want different candy. Someone yelling. You want a woman. You want um, an ethnic woman. You want uh, multicultural. You want a family on the beach. You know whatever. And then uh, Christmas is coming up. You want to do Christmas stuff, holiday stuff. It's right there. And then you want to add stuff. There's there's stuff that you can add. So maybe you want to put it in a nice frame. Okay, there's different frames you can use. Okay, and let, let me just show you how, how easy this NP, how easy peasy this is. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm clicking on this thing, and then right there, I put a little frame, and then you know I just shape it up, whatever. Okay, and then I mean in this case it looks a little kooky, right? Because the picture is not showing up perfectly, but you get the gist of it, right? And then, oh, golly, I want to change the color. Okay, golly, change the color. Boom. That, see, all I'm doing is clicking the little buttons in front of you. That's all, you know, no, nothing too extraordinary here. And then you can even upload different pictures here. Okay, so, so see, here, here's an example of my headshot. So, bam. Okay, so I want to do something with my headshot. You just upload the headshot with upload button right here. And I don't even know if, if there's a, a limit to how many things you can upload. I, I, I've got a whole bunch in here. And see, what I do is to save time, I might do this. Okay, so this might be an example of an Instagram post. So I've already used this on Instagram. Okay, so this is an inspirational post from my co company, Building Aspirations. Everybody has a plan until they are punched in the face. Mike Tyson. Okay, so I did not search for this graphic. This was here, and I just typed this, you know, in Instagram. And now I save it, and maybe two months from now I'll repost this on Facebook or something. Okay, so and if you have a product that that makes sense to to continue to um, market that way, yeah, you can do that. And then what you do is you just add the little text button right here. Boom. You see that? It just happened right in front of you. Add text. Boom. And then, of course, different fonts. You can make it all fancy schmancy if you want. And then, you know, change it up. Change the colors. Boom. Okay. Now, in, and then you can use it immediately. You can save it. Or you can even download it. So you can create it and then use it later. So let me walk you through an example here. I'm going to cancel this out. Go back. Now, this is being recorded on May 10th, and May 10th is actually National Forget Me Not Day. I didn't know that. 
But see, that this stuff is already here. And then apparently there's mustache promotions and well and, and, and all of these these things are there. There's Black Friday stuff, so so if you want to promote something on Black Friday, Black Friday, Black Friday, you can do that. Black Friday right here. And if you want to look for very specific things, you can do that. Let's say party planning. Planning. And then it gives you party planning tips, okay? So let's suppose you're a party planner and you're selling catering for New Year's Eve. Okay, here's some content that you can use. And you want to use it? All you do is go click. Boom. And then what it does is it loads it up to this interface. And now my, this, you need to set this up. My accounts here are pre-configured here. So if I go like this, boom, boom. Now, this, this will post to the Building Aspirations page on Facebook and also my personal page on Facebook. And I can actually say publish now. Boom. Okay. So I'm going to uh, cancel out of here. Now, you can, you can add to the queue or you can schedule it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the editor right now. Whoops. Cancel this right here. And I'm going to go create post. I'm going to go, I don't want to save these changes. I'm going to walk you through something step by step. I don't want to leave this, yes. Okay, so now uh, Veterans Day is, is coming up. So Veterans, Veterans Day. All right, so here, here there are, are pictures and then various quotes, but you know what? I, I just want to, to look to see what there are photos for veterans. So I'm going to say veterans, and then I'm going to search for just photos. Now, these photos are already in there, and they're already available, okay? So, and these little things right here explain who the original photographer is and the rights to them. Okay, if they're in here, you have the rights to use these things. Okay, so the, all of these photos are available for use. So, and some of you don't know, if just because something's available on Google, you can't search it out and then, and then use it. That, that, that actually is against the law. A photographer spent time, energy, and money to, to create that, so, so let's respect them and, and not use their intellectual property. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I just like the basic flag here. So actually, let me see if I can just pick a basic flag. Flag. Different ones about flags. Um, and then this is just the process. You just you do, the, do this. You just check. And I, I actually, I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Now, this is if I want to, to post a, a really general one here. I'm going to cancel right here, and I'm going to go to the, to the editor. Whoops. I'm going to go to create a post right here, and then um, I can add an image, okay? And then you can actually upload an image right here if you want to, or I can use the template. And th this is where all, all the pictures are, okay? And then, see, so you can actually use one of the pictures in here. Okay, so I'm going to go cancel right here. So I'm going to go back to um, create a post. And I'm going to go flag, flag right here. And I'm going to go that right there. And I'm going to say, I'm going to add something. I'm going to add some text here and say, God bless the vets. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to make it super big. And see how it works. Okay. It's black right there. So I'm going to... You know what, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to make it black, and I'm going to put it here. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it fits across the screen. 80. And that font is a little bit boring, so I'm going to come up with something a little bit fancier. 
Uh, let me try this one. Okay. And now because it changed a little, okay. God bless the vets. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. And then it goes, it goes back here. You see where I have access to all of these things? And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click all of these because I want to show love and respect to all the vets tomorrow. So you can, you can connect various different accounts and social media here. So what I'm going to do now, I can publish it now, but today is, is not officially Veterans Day. Tomorrow is Veterans Day. So I'm going to click Schedule, and then I'm going to schedule this for tomorrow morning, and I'm going to, I'm going to say 8 a.m. Okay? So bam, and then I'm going to go Schedule. And there, so it's it confirms that it puts it in the calendar here. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to view the calendar. And you see, this is an example of my calendar right here. This is the Building Aspirations business page. And these were all the things that I had pre-scheduled all throughout the week. See, these are examples of videos that I had pre-scheduled. Now you see that something is, on, is in the queue on Saturday. This right here is literally what's called your content calendar. So maybe you have promotions and maybe you have to coordinate with a magazine advertisement or you want to coordinate your online content marketing with your email marketing. So you need to understand all the dates and the timing for this to make sure that everything is, is well organized. Bam, it's in there. So, and then you notice if I click on Twitter right here, it will take me to my Twitter calendar, okay? Because I, I schedule it at 8 p.m. across, or big important, 8 a.m. across all of these. So it's in there as well. And then you can also do statistics. Because a key part of all of this is I don't I want you to get to results, of course. So if something doesn't work, you stop doing it. Right? And if something works, you continue to do it. So you go over here and then it will walk you through the different things that happen and when they happened. The time okay, so this right here was at 10 a.m. I got two retweets and one favorite, you know, and, and so on and so forth. Now this is particularly important if you are paying for this, okay? Because if you're paying a lot of money for Facebook ads and it's not giving you a lot of traffic, hmm, you know, golly, don't do that. So if you don't know what you're doing, it's like what you do is you just go here to ideas, you know? And then say, oh, you know what? Here's an example for a sale. Boom. Okay? There's it. So you just click that and then you go here to edit it according to your individual branding. Okay, and then you know what, Gal? You, I, I don't want it to be black. Let's let's do something for Valentine's Day, okay? And then you would just change the colors up to red. And then if you don't like this, you just delete it. You see, right there, it's all right there at, at your fingertips. And then you, you can you can download it, do more with it later. Okay, this right here is Promo Republic. Promo Republic, very quick and easy to use tool. Right here, Promo Republic. And to get started on this, I'm going to give you a link. I'm going to put that in the chat box right now. It's also on the screen. And there are super duper pricing things. And it, even the more advanced package, which is what I want you to get, is about a dollar a day. I think it's $29 a month. This is a startup company. And they're only a couple years old. They're based in Europe. They're, they're still relatively new. But the quality and customer service of the product is exemplary. And you know what? Eventually, when they figure out what they're offering, the prices are going to increase substantially. So take advantage of it now. Uh, there is the link on the screen right now. And then you go to the link, and then there's a join now, and then it walks you through the pricing options. So one, put in the link. Two, click on the join now button. And then three, go through the payment process that best match what you're looking for. I suggest the $29 a month one. Now, we're, we're coming uh, to the end here, and um, I, I answered uh, uh, just a couple questions as we're going along. I think you guys are happy. I know um, you have more questions. I know. I get it. There's always more questions, and I'm not making light of that. It's just I, I know that, that so many people are, are so starving and, and, and they thirst. They have such a, a need 
for, for information to quench their thirst. They really, really need good strategy. So what I do is I offer a complimentary phone consultation with me. And the link for that is on the screen, and I'm also sharing it in the chat box right now. It's buildingaspirations.com forward slash appointment. And then you can click on there and schedule an appointment with me for some advanced help. And when I'm on the call with you, I can give you best strategy. Like right here, I can give you best strategy. But it needs to be customized. It needs to fit for your business, for your situation, for your business knowledge, for your target market. And, you know, because there's multiple people on the call, I can't do that, right? But when I'm working directly with you, I can do that. And this is a key part of the value that I offer my clients is one-on-one -on -one business coaching where I, I work literally one-on-one, -on -one, not a staff member of mine, not a recording. I am on the phone with you walking through your problems specifically. Okay. And you know, 800 numbers are great, but they help you for a couple minutes. I really devote time and energy to you so that I can help you at a deep level. That's the business coaching program. And how it works is that we engage in, in an initial conversation and I learned about your needs. And then from there, we put you on retainer. And sometimes my clients might be on a retainer for just one hour a month. And for one hour a month, we get on the phone and I truly and sincerely help you at a deep level with your issues. But think about it. I mean, if you go to a doctor and the doctor really gives you deep knowledge for an hour, wow, that might be enough. And then in that hour, I will tell you what tools, what strategy. Now you need to implement it. That's the thing about the business coaching. I tell you what to do, but now you need to do it. Okay. But then, then next month we have a follow up and we connect it and what have you. Sometimes clients may speak to me once a week, a couple times a week. It depends on what your needs are. So in this conversation, we talk about that and then we go to the next step. This initial conversation is half an hour on the phone and I can accommodate different time zones. If you have a funky schedule, we can talk about that. You just go to this link and there's an online calendar. Just pick the date that's most convenient for both of us. We'll both be notified and we'll have a high value conversation. Now in the training program, maybe I just train your staff and it's just a couple hours. Not, not just, I don't want to minimize it, but my point is that it's, it's very stop oriented. So I help you for two hours, here's the training, bam, you get to do everything, okay? But the training is customized to you, your needs, your data, your software. So I love logging into your account and then whatever we do, is there after I leave. Okay, so if we create any examples, do anything like we just did with Promo Republic, it's there for you to utilize later. And the management option are typically for um, more complex, more uh, long-term oriented projects. These are for people who have the budgets to retain my services. So maybe we'll, we'll work on a more complex email campaign with, for you for the next year. Maybe we'll optimize the videos that you have on YouTube. Maybe, you know, so, so very customized uh, offerings. Th then we give you a little bit of a proposal, and then we estimate how that all works. But the th key thing is it starts with that appointment. So if you are interested, I, and I take that back, if you are committed, and, and I'm sorry, I don't want to work with people who are interested. I want to work with people who are committed because no, no lie here, full, full transparency. If we create a, create a professional relationship, I would love to help you into perpetuity. And, and what that, if I'm always constantly and consistently adding value to you and your business, then we should work forever, of course. And then if the relationship does not work or it's not worth the time, energy, and money, then you know what? We part our ways, no words. Um, but sometimes I, I work with clients for multiple years because I, and, and, They'll tell you. It's like, oh, my gosh, every time you give me more information. <laughs> That's what I'm all about. All right, so I know your time is precious, and I know you chose to spend a little bit of time with me today. 
So I sincerely thank you for that. So th this has been Mark Michelot from Building Aspirations because that's what we do. Our, our business is helping you with your aspiration. We want you to be successful in your business with less stress and more success. So connect with me at buildingaspirations.com. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you on the next webinar. Bye-bye.